Thanks, Connor. Uh, what did you see in the second period, or what did it look like from from your crease? Obviously, you were pretty busy. Yeah, they had a good power play. Um, they're filtering a lot of shots. Um, I kind of liked it, you know, it's early in the season, getting um, a good amount of shots, getting the rhythm. It helps. It feels good. And um, we had a chance going to that third period. So um, the, the, the team played good tonight, just not good enough. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, Connor, when you're missing guys like Dylan DeMello, Tucker Pullman, you've got a guy in Logan Stanley making his NHL debut tonight. Um, do you go into the game with the mindset that uh, it could be a long night at the office just with some new faces and against a high-powered team like Toronto? And, and how do you think your your blue line kind of handled it overall? No, I went in with the same mindset um, as any other game. I thought the guys that played great. Um, Stanley's first game was awesome. And we have a lot of communication back there. So we're a tight knit unit and um, the pieces that come and go are, um, it's like a puzzle, you know, they, they all fit in the right way. So there, there's no slacking back there. I thought they were good tonight. Go back to uh, Ken Weave, go ahead, Ken. Obviously Connor hadn't played, uh, you know, since August. Uh, did it feel a little bit more settled in the crease for you today or what was your uh, overall feeling? Oh, absolutely. Um, the Calgary game, it was nice to get back up to speed. And then coming into this, we had a good practice and a, and a day off and an extra day off. And um, I felt like my practice was really good and I was finally back up to speed. And now my patience can can take another level and take another step. So I felt good in the crease and um, it, it pays off to the guys in front of me. We were just melding very nicely. So um, when you understand your role, things uh, get a little bit easier. We'll go next to uh, Marat Tesh from the Athletic. Go ahead, Marat. Hey, Connor. Obviously, a, a very dangerous power play from Toronto. On the goal, what did you see in your crease? Because there was traffic, but also from William Nylander on that pass. Uh, so you're talking about the first one. Um, it was a, a shot through screen um, off my pad, and it went back door right on his tape. And he had time to kind of line it up, and I slid over. Um, looking back now, I might have been able to get on my feet, but um, nine times out of 10, that guy's ripping that puck and I had that thing smothered. So um, he found a guy open and, you know, he made the right play. Well, next to uh, Brian Munns from TSN 1290. Go ahead, Munns. Connor, of the 38 shots that uh, Toronto had on you tonight, how did you feel the workload was? Was it, do you feel like it's kind of regular National Hockey League play now for not only the shooters, but yourself being it was just game two for you guys tonight? Yeah, you know what? It, it felt good. Um, it felt like a good flow. It seemed like a really fun game um, for everyone, including me. And, you know, I was just, I'm really happy to get playing again. And um, I'm really excited to move forward here. And we got to, we got to rack up some wins because this division is not going to be easy.